most all new applications are HTTP based and most all HTTP apps need to be SSL encrypted or TLS encrypted. So to do that, one of the things you're going to require is an HTTP to HTTPS redirect. On Avi, that's pretty easy to do. There's about three different ways that you can go about doing this. So I've got an application here, which is cleverly called redirect, which is listening on HTTP port 80. So I'm gonna go into this application and the first thing I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna go and add a port 443 SSO. And when I do this, this gives me some new options. I'll pretend below here to say specify my profile and specify my certificate if I'm gonna use an elliptic curve or an RSA or, or both. So I'll save that. So now I'm listening on HTTP and HTTPS on the same virtual service. But what I still wanna do is I wanna redirect if anyone comes in on HTTP to go to HTTPS. So this is the application. I've got a hello world web page here and it's listening out on port 80. I could also hit up the HTTPS, but if I want this to redirect, there's three ways we can go about this. So the first way is I can go into the HTTP profile that this is pointing to. And in the profile itself, under security, there's an option here to say redirect. So if I hit save and it says, are you sure you wanna make this change? It's going to impact some virtual servers that are using this. I'm okay with that. And this is the simplest way to do this. Now when I redirect, it's now going to send me to my self-signed certificate saying, I'm now going to my own custom site that's HTTPS encrypted. So life is good. So that's one way to go about doing this. Now, when I set up the redirection there, it didn't ask me a whole lot of questions or a whole lot of uh, options, but I can go a little uh, further into this and go into something like the policies. And in an HTTP request policy, I could add one that says something like, if the port is 80, then do a redirect to HTTPS. Now this is still a little bit more work, but this gives me a little more flexibility. Now I can specify if I want it to be a 301 versus a 302 or some other variation like that. If I wanted to get a little more granular about this, I can go into the data script. So I'll create a new data script. And for an HTTP request event, I'm going to have it say, if the request is not secure or SSL, TLS, then redirect to HTTPS, etc., And we can save this, apply this. So these are three different ways that we can go about doing this. Either just a point and click in HTTP policy, we can set this up in the profile, which is a little more granular, or we can be significantly more granular by scripting this out and having the full level of flexibility, all of which is going to give me the ability to have a single virtual service that's listening on 80 and 443 and automatically redirect.